God bless everyone. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his brand is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye shall see all these things and know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass until all these things be fulfilled. The fig tree is the nation of Israel. The blossoming of the fig tree was the reforming in 1948. Psalm 9010 explains how long the generation is. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, a generation lasts between seventy and eighty years. The state of Israel was reformed on May 14, 1948, my birthday May 11th, making 2019 the 71st year placing us right in the middle of the prophetic timeline my father wrote in the Bible. My day is coming like a thief in the night. Destruction will come on you suddenly as labor pains upon a pregnant woman and they will not escape. But you, my brothers and sisters, are not in darkness. All who believe in me will not be surprised by this day. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. The laws of the land have changed. The Ten Commandments have been replaced by statutes of Lucifer. People all over the world are chanting the same exact phrase. Do as thou wilt is the whole of the law. It is the mindset that has taken over the world, Satan's world, under the guise of love and acceptance. This doctrine has become the motto for the new generation. But where does it come from? Alistair Crowley talked about the voice dictating to him was the book of the Lord and it would become the Bible of his new satanic religion. And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, with stress with nations, with perplexity, in the sea, in the waves, and the war. It's an exciting time for us Christians. Our generation is witnessing the fulfillment of my father and my prophecy on a massive scale. It's here and I'm come now to save what was lost. You cannot die, deny the undeniable coalescence of biblical prophecy. The Bible is the only book of Revelation 100% accurate. Everything from, from iPhones to internet to wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, tsunamis, pestilence, riots, revolution, civil war, terrorism, economic collapse, meteors, blood moons, eclipses, climate change, inequality, greed, cannibalism, vampirism, DNA editing, transhumanism, transvestitism, homosexuality in a rampant place. I warned you about these times in my first incarnation, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be." End quote. It's no secret. Repent! Our world is a direct reflection of the antediluvian age of my first incarnation. Now these ideas which have been kept hidden for thousands of years by the Pharisees, the scribes, by satanic influence, you are seeing a global resurgence of ancient ideas like drinking blood, consuming human flesh, 
black magic and human sacrifice are now in the public eye. The New Age religion is spread across the world like satanic fire, corrupting and rotting everything it touches, and most of you do not realize there is nothing new about the New Age. It's only the ancient Babylonian mystery religions repackaged and sold to you as an opiate, as some quote-unquote new idea. It's ancient Satanism. Throughout ancient history, there's been innumerable prophecies written by untold number of people. The Satanic Mayans, Nostradamus, Indians, ancient, Chinese, they're all famous for the prophetic writings, but no book has ever been actually prophetic other than the Bible. In the entirety of human existence, only the Holy Bible, the spoken word of Abba, Agape, Elohim, Yahweh, it has never made a mistake. Never! Never! This book lays out the entirety of human existence from the very beginning of Genesis all the way till now, the end, when God is about to pour out his wrath on the face of Satan's earth. You must be educated so you can repent. The great and terrible day is upon you. Christian values are being systematically snuffed out with the quote, do as thou wilt mindset. Walking after their own lusts. The amount of pornographic material available on the internet is staggering. Every single second, 28,258 users are watching pornography. Every single day, 2.5 billion emails containing pornography are sent or received. People walking after their own lust has become the new normal. Repent! Please repent. Everybody is encouraged by Satan to explore your own sexuality. Nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Nothing that is hid will not be known and shall come abroad. In the midst of all this chaos, Something beautiful is happening. Information that has been hidden away for thousands of years is making its way into God's light. God is bringing it forth. All Satan's plans, plots, and schemes are all visible in full detail. The Vatican is a giant snake. The mystery schools and their initiates are satanic. The confusion of tongues gave rise to all the world's spiritual systems. The power of Babel. The days of Noah and the Nephilim hybrids created chaos. They were the angels of sin. The watchers have all come to light. It comes directly to me. Alpha Omega. I am the way, the light, the truth, the door, the light. God bless you all. Come to the cross.